happen and we begin with the new chapter and that new chapter is nothing but chemical kinetics. The first word is chemical and the second word is kinetics. Now, as usual, before we actually start with the various contents of this particular chapter, let us try to understand first of all the title of this chapter. Now, when we start with the word chemical, so the first thing which comes into your mind, oh yes, come on, that is chemistry. Okay, it cannot be anything else, but it has to be what? Chemistry. Chemistry is all about, oh yes, you guessed it right, it's reactions. Reaction is a process of change. And as for the changes taking place, the reactions are either physical or chemical. I guess you got it right, all these sequences. Okay, now we go into the next one, that is kinetics. Now kinetics is nothing but, it's all related to speed. Or we also call it as the rate of the reaction. Okay, that means we talk about the timing, the time period. That's the most important factor over here. So when you join both these words and we come to a conclusion and that is something but chemical kinetics is nothing but it's a branch of chemistry which deals with the speed or the rate of a reaction. Okay, and that reaction can be either a physical reaction or a chemical reaction. Okay, so once again I repeat, chemical kinetics is nothing but it's a branch of chemistry which deals with the changes. Okay, the changes with respect to the reactions but then it is being applied to what? The speed. Okay, so the rate at which or the speed at which the reaction takes place is basically called as chemical kinetics. Now when we talk about reactions, as I already told you, it can be either physical reaction or chemical reaction. But generally, we are into more of chemical reactions and how does the change is going to take place in what amount of time. So in chemical kinetics, primarily, it's not that we are not going to consider physical reactions at all and it has to be ignored, no. But then, whenever we go into the rate of the reactions, we generally more concentrate on what? Chemical reactions. Alright? So now, when I talk about changes, my dear friends, you know very well that there is a requirement of two species. Number one is the initial one and the number two is the final one. Okay, the initial one, which we also can call it as before the change, and the final one, we can call it as after the change, which technically you guys know it very well, and that is they are called as reactants and products simultaneously. So these reactants and products, how they are getting converted, that is not to be considered over here, but in what time it is going to be considered. Okay, that is a prime concern for this in this particular chapter. Alright, so that's the reason I said that this is what is a prime concern and that is what? Time. Alright, so I guess you guessed it right now what exactly this chapter is all about. It's all about the time required for a reaction to get completed or for a reactant to get converted into the products. Okay, and the branch of this particular chemistry is basically called as chemical kinetics. I guess it's as crystal clear.